so now we have saved the template now we can close the drawing file and we don't want to save any changes to this drawing 2.dwg so press no so we but already we have saved the template it will be saved in the location so now here we have the transportation design in which we have created the corridor here we need to create the report generation for this corridor for that go to general menu plan production tools under plan production tools we will be having two tools one is create view frames and create sheets so let me start with create view frames first so create view frame based on alignment so it has five pages alignment sheet view frame group match line and profile view so in the first alignment page we need to choose the alignment and station range to use for creating sheets so from which station to which station i need to create sheet and what is the alignment along which i need to create it so let me choose the alignment as mg road and the station range is automatic if it is automatic it will start from starting point to ending point if you have a desired location you can go for user specified and select from say 500 to 550 meter let me select automatic as station range because i need to take the printout from starting to end then go for next here we have sheets in which we need to choose the sheet type and make settings for the view frames to use a template the dwt file must contain viewport specified using extended data properties according to your desired sheet type so we need to choose the sheet type as shown in the preview we have a view sheet in which there are two viewports with the spacing but we have given zero spacing and in the bottom i need to take the printout of plan as well as the same corresponding profile i need to take it in the top viewport as a printout so both the plan and the profile has to be taken simultaneously so we have a sheet setting choose the sheet type you want to generate so i want to generate either only plan i, I don't want the profile to be taken as a printout no problem we can select one d plan in which the plan will be taken as a printout in a separate sheet and profile will be taken as a printout in separate sheet for select uh, for generating the profile we can select profile only option but in as per the standard we need both plan and profile both simultaneously and in the industry also they will prefer this option only because combining both the plan and profile views to create the to understand the design results is less acceptable so the industry requires in one sheet both the plan and the profile has to be printed so i have selected plan and profile here and based on which template the plan and profile has to be printed we have the template for plan and profile sheet in which we have a location we can change the location over here by using this browse icon as i indicated earlier we have saved the template in c users vignesh application data local autodesk civil 3d 2014 enu template plan production template dot dwt so we can choose that particular template and under the template we have a layout to create new sheet if you want to change the template file you can change it by going to browse once again 
and we can choose the layout to create new sheets so i have chosen layout one okay and then we have something called view frame placement in view frame placement there are two types of view frame placement one is along alignment and one is rotate to north if it is along alignment as shown in the preview the sheets will be placed along the alignment according to the shape of the alignment and we will ignore the overlap of the sheets and if it is rotate to north it will be rotated to north every sheet will be placed like this and we will take a printout but in both the cases there is some overlap of sheets with the previous and next sheets so in order to define the overlapping correctly we we will be using match lines and view reference for reference so let me select along alignment so as per the alignment shape i will place the sheet and we have also a parameter called set the first view frame before the start of the alignment by that is it will create a margin before the alignment instead of starting the starting to take printout at exactly zero meter let me choose a first view frame before the start of the alignment base by say by 10 meter or 5 meter or 2 meter whatever it is so it will act as a margin so let me select this set the first view frame before the start of the alignment by 10 meter option so it will be selected 10 meter before the alignment then go to next in the create view frames view frame group dialog box we need to specify the object creation criteria for the new view frame group as well as view frames so we have view frame group as well as view frames in the bottom first of all view frame group is nothing but suppose if five view frames are needed to complete the entire length of the corridor all the five view frames will be formed as one group so let me give the name as mg road view frame group or we will change it to mg road vfg vfg stands for view frame group description about the view frame group we can give and then we can go for view frame name view frame has a default layer as per the template no need to concern about that so let me go to the name of the view frames once again the view frame name should be mg road as it is a view frame i will give it as vf vf stands for view frame and vfj stands vfg stands for view frame group so we have also style there is basic style so in order to change the selection you can go to edit current selection option where there is a information tab in which who has created it we can see it and in display tab we can see in plan what is the components to be visible so only there is only one component called view frame border and the color of it is blue so the view frames will be created the border will be created by this color go to apply okay and then we have label style that is what we want to label for the created view frames suppose you can go for view frame number or something so here also we have only basic we can also give none if you don't want any labels so let me select basic and go to its edit current selection and in information tab name is basic and if you see general suppose this is the alignment the page will be placed like this and there will be a overlap according to the path of the alignment and we will be giving some name here as labels 
So what is the labeling we want? What is the textile label visibility layer? Behavior that is the orientation and plant readability we can control as well as in layout tab we can change the text parameters text offset height rotation angle everything and in dragged state we can check the leader suppose when we drag the component we need a leader and some there are some properties regarding the border type border visibility background masking everything so we can choose each and everything in summary we can check or reconfirm each parameters and go for apply ok then at the bottom there is one more option called label location where this label has to be located either top left or top center top right like that so let me choose top left corner so in the top left corner the label of the view frames will be located and after selecting it go for next now the important thing is match lines as I mentioned whenever we create view frames along the alignment definitely there will be a overlap so we can we have to control the overlapping as well as we need to mention where the overlap has to be appearing for that we have a match line option this match line will indicate at what position the sheet has been cutted or overlapped so here you can choose to insert match lines automatically and define how they are placed so automatically without match lines we cannot create view frames so automatically this option will be enabled and you have no option to untick that now we have a positioning option in which there are two sub options one is snap station value down to the nearest and allow additional distance for repositioning which will increase your view overlap so in the first option snap station value down to the nearest means suppose if the overlap of the view frame happens at 344.59 meter chain edge if i give a snap station of say 1 meter automatically the 349.49 will snap to its nearest 350 meter for example if the same 349 has been given with 20 meter elevation nearest value nearest station is 20 meter if i give the nearest to 20 meter it will take it will take either 340 or 360 whichever is nearer so our value is 349.49 either it has to choose 340 or 360 so which is the nearest one 340 is the nearest one so it will take 340 as the positioning similarly if it is 355 it will if i give a, a station point of say 5 it will go to either 360 or 350 so like that we can snap the station like our snap settings we can snap the station and also we can go for allow additional distance for repositioning maybe 10 meter or 20 meter if it is there allow additional distance for increasing overlap we can give it after defining the position we need to give name for our match line also for giving name we have layer we can ignore it we have the match line name let me give it as mg road ml ml stands for match line and what is the style or based on what style we need to create the match line we have a basic style in which we can select edit current selection and we can view at what style the match line has been created go to the display option where in the component display the view direction is plan and the component display we can see two things one is line and one is match line mask so both the things are visible and both are in white color here go for apply 
okay and then we have labels for the match line as well like u frames for label we need match line labels to identify what is that match line is in that we have two label style actually one is left label style and one is right label style normally in the left label style you will get the previous sheet number and in the right label style we will get the next sheet number or vice versa so you can see this left label style and right label style so basic left and basic right has been selected here also we can check what is it edit current selection where in general tab we can see the text style by zooming it here so this if this is the view frame this is the match line the white color one so it will show you what is the match line match line number it will show you and at what station it has been added and what is the previous sheet number so the previous sheet number will be printed with the second sheet and the next sheet number will be printed with the first sheet so both the sheets will be placed one below the another to make the continuity of the alignment so if you want to change the type of the text label we can change it we can change the layout the text height orientation each and everything in drag state we can if you if it is dragged to a particular option a leader will be applied that leader details we can change it and go for apply okay similarly in the right hand side once again if i go to edit current selection here the right hand side of the match line we will have same match line number at station same station but here instead of previous sheet number you will get next sheet number so we can check both the label styles if you want any changes to do we can change it go for apply okay also we can select the left label location as well as a right label location the left label location has to be at the end or start or middle or alignment intersection so let me give it as in the end and right label location at the start so as as we have seen in the preview also right label is in the top and left label is at the bottom after changing the match line option go to next next is the profile view settings in this page we need to set the profile view information to create the viewport as per now whatever we have set it, it is only for the plan and for the profile view we need to choose what is the profile view style we require and what is the band set or band set style we require so the profile view style can be profile view or any other thing so if it is profile view can go to its edit current selection and see what are all the parameters it's a profile view it is created by autodesk and i have already modified it in some set profile view with elevations on both the right and left vertical axis so the graph you can change the scale if you require the vertical exaggeration which is nothing but the ratio of horizontal and vertical scale grid you can change it annotation horizontal and vertical axis you can change display what are all the things to be displayed and in summary you can reconfirm everything go for apply okay similarly we can set the bands set as well so we have plan profile sheets elevations and stations which is a new one normally we will take eg fg elevations and stations but here it is having plan profile sheet elevations and stations so go to its edit current selection to view the parameters so it has been it will display the existing and proposed elevations and stations with an empty band at the bottom to help place view centered 
and in the band tab we have band type we have profile data vertical geometry horizontal geometry super elevation sectional data and pipe data as per now as it is a profile view we need the profile data as a band type and what is the band style we want we have cut data elevation everything let me select profile data already they have selected profile data and they have added it while adding it the location where it has to be located either bottom of profile view or top i have chosen bottom of profile view and there are two band types both are profile data but in that there are two styles one is elevation and station and one is empty band bottom if i want to edit it you can edit it from here also big band style and edit we also have the description about it gap major interval minor interval geometry label stations label start label end weeding factor which is 100 staggering at it staggered labels height everything is mentioned match major or minor increments to vertical grid intervals go for apply okay and then select this create view frames option so automatically you can see that the view frames has been created 